When I was talking, Christina, she got upset, naturally, and Sonny and Sam asked me not to question her anymore, and I said I wouldn't. What, what was the discrepancy in Christina's story? At the time, Christina says she was beaten. Ethan was still with the Haunted Star. Sam and Christina both told me what happened that night. The story doesn't match up. So here's how it goes. Christina said that Sam dropped her off at the lake house and uh, Ethan showed up right after Sam left, but that's not possible because Sam drove straight to the Haunted Star and Ethan was there. Sometimes trauma victims blur the passage of time. No, I, I, I get that, but Christina told me that, that Ethan showed up like five minutes after Sam left. Even if Ethan showed up later, an hour later, she would have remembered doing something during that time. Okay, but here are the facts. Christina and Ethan argued earlier at the Haunted Star. He mm -hmm. went over to her house sometime after that, and mm -hmm. she ID'd him as her attacker. And she ID'd him to you, right? You yeah. did the ER interview? Yes. And how, how did Christina see him? She was, uh, she was traumatized, but completely cognizant. I mean, she knew what happened to her. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe she just said Ethan's name, and now she's too afraid to admit that she made a mistake. If you want me to sidestep the official investigation and look into this myself, I'll need more to go on. Do you have any other reason to believe Christina would lie? This stays off the record. Between you and me, agreed? Agreed. It wasn't Alexis who ran Claudia off the road last summer. It was Christina. Christina had a restraining order against Ethan. He violated it by going to see her at her house. And when Sam called it in, I went to arrest Ethan, and I found him ready to skip town. Lucky, do you think Ethan did this? I don't want to, but I'm biased. I mean, Ethan's my half-brother, and it's true. I don't know him very well, but still, I don't want to believe that he's capable of, of beating any woman up, let alone a 17-year-old. So, maybe, maybe he did go over to Christina's house in, in, in hopes of convincing her to tell the truth. Maybe the bruise on her arm really was just from the haunted star like he said. I mean, if I was innocent, I might panic like that. Track her down, try to convince her to tell the truth. Yeah, and if I was guilty and I was Ethan, I'd have been gone that day because Sonny would have wanted me dead. Exactly. So the question is, why would Christina lie? I don't know. That's what we have to find out. I'm gonna look into this further because if, if Ethan's innocent, I want to clear his name and I want to find the piece of garbage that did assault Christina. Let me know what you find out. I will. Great. We have it ready in a half hour. Wonderful. Go for it. Thank you. Go for what? It's a surprise. Can you be ready in an hour and a half? I think I can manage. Yeah? Can I get a hint? Your hint is, meet me in the park by the gazebo. Ooh, carousel ride or toy boats in the pond? I'm not telling you, so you can stop guessing, but I will tell you that you're going to love it. Mm, I love you because you're being so sweet and trying to cheer me up. Well, selfish reasons. I could spend time with my wife. <sighs> hey, Maggie. Hey. hey. How's Elizabeth? Uh, she's, she's doing okay under the circumstances. Listen, do you guys have a minute? I was hoping maybe you could answer some questions off the record. Yeah. Nurse Johnson, do you have a minute? It depends on what you want. I want to go over what happened at the hospital the night of Christina Davis's beating. Specifically, your observations about Ethan Lovett. How did Ethan seem the night he brought Christina in? Well, I couldn't say. I had just left the ER when Maxie came in. What about you, Epiphany? You were at the main desk, right? Yeah, I was here when they came in. Uh, poor girl was barely conscious. It's a miracle that half her bones weren't broken. But Ethan seemed appropriately concerned. Actually, Lucky, I was the attending surgeon that night, and I have to say Ethan was restless, agitated. He didn't stick around to see how Christine was doing. Did he say anything about how he found her? Just that she was in really bad shape when he got to the lake house. Thanks. 
Listen, I know that he's your brother. It just might be hard to hear. I just want the truth. Off the record, I think Ethan did it. And he brought her in because he was remorseful. Is your mom home? She's running errands. Would it be okay if I came in and spoke with you for a few minutes? I mean, if you're not comfortable with that, I completely understand. No, it's okay. Yeah? Okay, thanks. I'm sure you're pretty mad that I got your brother arrested. Of course not. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at you. You were the victim of a, a brutal attack. When I talked to you at the hospital, I, I admired your courage. What courage? I was crying so hard I could barely talk. I think you're being way too hard on yourself, Christina. I mean, you still managed to make your statement even, even though you were in a lot of emotional and physical pain, and that, that says a lot about your character. everything I'm not sure what more you want me to say nothing if you don't want to I'm just here to help see that your attacker is brought to justice I keep telling my mom we just want this to be over up to talking about the night of your attack? I think I pretty well covered it. I wanted to uh, give you another opportunity just in case you forgot something or were confused or maybe you remember something that, that could help us both. On Friday night, I put on this sexy new dress and went to the haunted star to see Ethan. I wanted him to think I was mature enough for him to date, but he wasn't into me at all. We argued and he forced me out of the casino. I was so pretty emotional, so I I went to the bar at the Metro Court. Sam was there, and she took me home. And when she left, there was this pounding on the door. And he was so angry. You're off chasing Ethan? In a dress I paid for! I tried to get away. No, oh, you're hurting me! But he hit me. And I fell to the floor. Christina.